welcome back <coughs> in this particular video i would like to share with all of you how to study chemistry according my perspective my point of view okay for one one thing i have mentioned when i reading a particular topic a new topic and i feel i really do not understand that one statement or one paragraph i will not move to the next sentence until i really justify what's going on and sometimes sometimes in my way i'm study yes if one book if, if, i will prefer i'm reading the same topic from a different resources what i'm trying to say i might have a book a book b and book c i'm at the chemistry book of course and i'm reading the same topic from different reference so why certain book their explanations the author explain a bit different a creative way to understand a catchy word easier word, word to understand the topic so in my opinion if you do not understand a particular topic in that particular sentence then refer to another book and look at that how the author put the word and try to explain then if you still can cope with it and go for the next one then from then you can get a basic idea <coughs> in additions i also study chemistry in yes i do i do i do a lot of exercise and in fact i will finish per day and remember you want to study chemistry in particular topic you need to be more consistent what do i mean by consistent for each topic each topic you need to continuously i would like to tell you again continuously do the exercise from that particular questions like continuously which mean week uh, today do it and since following week you do a same topic questions from different book and the third week you do continuously you need to have this continuous exercise on chemistry topic in order in order to sharpen your mind and critical thinking i notice most of the student lack of exercise and especially and the student have a mindset okay i finished this tutorial a particular topic one topic okay then in i already master no 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 you are master maybe on that particular week on a week and also that particular topic maybe narrow down you need to cope with a high level thinking questions as a high order of thinking use taking from different resources and do the exercise continuously that's how you can perform in your chemistry trust me that's will achieve and also i notice i get a plenty of complaints saying that uh, chemistry is a more difficult subject we i cannot relate it with the real life because you look the chemistry from the point of view is a subject no for me chemistry is actually a part of our life look chemistry as a part of our life in doing so in doing so you can relate it try to learn start with your brother or try to talk with your mom okay rather than we are taking oh two teaspoon of sugar we change it maybe we make a joke but the chemistry is there in our life such as the teaspoon of sugar we change it to mole of sugar it's even though it's funny but you are implementing you try to relate chemistry in your life i used to tell my student okay uh, i want to grab, uh, take a break i want to take h2o h2o so it mean i try to tell the student actually chemistry is a part of our life try to discuss with the uh, try to relate it rather than say oh can you take uh, the salt for me the table salts let me change it a bit can you take the sodium chloride for me when you love the topic when you see the topic is a part of our life you will try to enjoy the subject and trust me you will love the topic that's another point so look at my next video for further to make the conclusion what we have talked about the chemistry thank you